so what we have hi dear leo a very very good evening to you guys this is anjali taro and this is a journal of reading for all the leo sun moon venus rising keep in mind this is general it might or might not resonate with you at the first place the second thing the rules can be reversed also third thing this is a reading from 5th till the 11th of august and it's valid for every 12 sign that you're dealing with along with your own sign if it is not resonating it's not your story you can just skip the video if you want to be a professional tarot card reader like me you can start your journey by purchasing my course the link is in the description box for the same if you want to start your self-healing journey with Ho'oponopono but don't know from where to start you can definitely start by purchasing my master class Again, the link is in the description box for the same and it has the power to change your life for the rest of your life. Trust me on that. I'm doing it from a very, very long time now. And if you want one-on-one -on -one healing sessions or personal readings, you can check out the description box and you can mail me for the same. So let's start. Leo, your person or your partner's current feelings for you right now at this present moment. Let's see. Page of Wands. Someone is kind of missing you like hell. Someone is missing you like hell. I'm telling you, Leo. This person is missing all the good memories, all the good things you guys used to have. This is somebody from your past who feels like coming back to you like a friend now. Like, okay, Leo, can we talk again? Can we be friends again? Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's clarify the page of words. We have the King of Swords, the Queen of Wands, the Four of Pentacles. This person is holding on to you like crazy. They are very clear that one day you guys are going to be together. Even if that day is not right now, you guys are going to be together again. And this person is holding on to you like crazy. They are like holding on to you like, I am not letting go of Leo out of my life, out of my system, no matter what. I want Leo in my life and I will get them. By hook or by crook. Wow. It's like past person going crazy over you and you are cutting their ass out of the out of your life. You feel like you should just not be with this person anymore. The more you are trying to detach, the more they are trying to get you back in their life. It's like a stubbornness to get you back in their life. Very stubborn. Let's see what do you feel about this particular person or situation from your side, Leo? emperor so your side from your side you are just sitting in your power and you are uh, making it very clear to this person that you don't want them anymore in your life or you just uh, don't feel uh, that kind of feelings for them anymore let's clarify the emperor you are taking the child you are taking your power back from this particular person or situation and you're sitting on your uh, what we call that you're sitting in your power okay yeah from your side, Leo, it's done. It's gone. You can't do anything about it. You are just healing. You are moving on. And you made it very, very clear to this person that you are done with them. Or you are going to make it very clear to them in the coming future. You feel like even though you tried, you tried your best to give it a like a shot with all of your heart and soul. You, you felt you should give it a chance, give it a shot, but it didn't work out. And now you are done. Now you are kind of out of the situation. Even though you're talking to this person from time to time or you are keeping them in contact, but you feel like this is done, this is over and you told them very, very clearly, honestly, or you will. Let's see what this person wants from you. I think this person wants to get you back by hook or by crook. It's like more than love, it's their stubbornness now. It's like their ego and pride of wanting to get you back. Five of Wands, this person wants to fight this person wants to fight for this connection, fight, fight for this situation, even if it means that this is not going to go anywhere. Why the hell this person is so stubborn? Because their ego is hurt, that you are no longer interested in them. Let's clarify the five of wands. This person wants to fight for this connection. They want to have a brand new beginning with you. They want to make it successful. This person wants to assure you that they love you. Now they are showing me love. This person wants to show you that they love you so much that you can get, like uh, give them a chance, that you can give them a shot and you guys are meant for each other. This person wants to fight for this connection as much as they can and wants to bring this connection back to life. But you are also stubborn. Both of you are very stubborn in your ways. This person wants you back like crazy. You don't want them back anymore. And it's pissing them off more and more and more. Now this person wants to do the right thing. Now this person wants to balance the situation between you and them. And you are no longer interested in them. You're done. 
let's see what do you want from this particular person or situation the stubbornness the ego the pride you just want to break free from the situation you just want to take the leap of faith with the universe i think you just want to go ahead with something new or someone new and you don't want to be a part of this game anymore you left the situation let's clarify the fool we have the moon card the nine of wands the hangman okay so you're showing me that anjali even if i'm going to put like let my guards down this is going to be a disaster so i just want to remain detached from the situation i just want to surrender to the divine if it is meant to happen it will eventually and naturally but i am not going to do anything from my side because i'm too scared to open up to this particular person or situation they hurt me so badly so you are trying to let it go but at the same time deep down you have this desire to maybe maybe it will work out but at the same time you don't want to put any kind of effort or energy from your side in this direction you just want to see what they are going to do it's like it's making you feel good you you don't have any desire to be with this person anymore but deep 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 down 1% of you is feeling like okay might be it's going to work out in the coming future but as of now i just want to remain detached and i don't want to participate in this person's game anymore or games anymore yeah yeah you just want to stay focused on money job career your family or you just want to stay focused on something long term someone that can bring the long term kind of uh, energy on the table for you let's see what could be the potential outcome of the situation till the 11th of august five of swords okay i do see a lot of this energy of you being mentally stressed out you being continuously in this energy of what should i do what should i do what should i do kind of a deal let's clarify the five of swords here yeah you are going to be very firm in your decision that okay i forgive you i forgive whatever you uh, you did with with me but i am never going to get back to you again this is my final decision although this decision is going to stress the hell out of you but you are going to make sure that this message is loud and clear to the other energy other energy here that you are not interested in them anymore at all 0% and you just want to move on from the situation you are going to forgive them you are going to stay connected with them in some way shape or form but you are going to make sure that they get the message loud and clear that you are no longer interested in them in that manner to be in a relationship with them again now the roles can be reversed also take it how it resonates with you somebody is trying to like force their way into your life and be with you again and you are not interested at all you are going to be in this energy of no matter what i'm not going to be with you anymore no matter what you do no matter what you say i am done i am gone bye so it's a final goodbye from your side and you are going to be like no matter what this is it and they are they are not going to say this person is not going to take no for an answer not at all they are very stubborn very very stubborn let's see the guidance for you guys here page of pentacles in reverse four of swords and the hermit yeah see you are doing the right thing by letting this person go because again i'm telling you more than love this is their ego and pride that is getting hurt because of whatever you are doing with them okay their ego and pride is so big that once they are going to get you they are going to repeat the same chapter with you again so the universe is telling you to let it go heal yourself properly and don't react or don't do anything about the situation just let it go let this time pass let this person understand and get their own lessons their own karma you have done you are doing a great job don't initiate any kind of connection don't initiate any kind of communication or conversation or anything from your side in this direction just let it go let this time pass you got your lessons you got your blessings whatever you have learned whatever you have got out of the situation never forget whatever happened yes you can definitely forgive this person for whatever they did with you you can forgive yourself for whatever you did with them but at the same time never forget what you learned from this situation okay and never go go back to the same kind of energy again in life you know it's going to turn into a disaster again see by all means if you you do have a free will by all means if you feel like you should go in that direction and give it a shot do that with all of your heart and soul but if you feel it's not worth your time it's not worth your drama worth your energy it's not worth uh, any kind of deal with you 
and you got the lessons you got the blessings get out of this situation and make sure maybe block this person and particular energy from your life at least for the time being and make sure that the message is loud and clear that you are out of this right make sure so if you're a cross watcher and you are the one suffering and you are the one uh, like uh, and the, uh, the like and leo is approaching to you then this is for you take it how it resonates with you the roles can be reversed also because energies are fluid when we do couples reading when we do a uh, uh, cumulative reading collective reading so yeah thank you so much for tuning in leo i'll see you soon in the next video bye bye take care god bless you namaste